the important point. Uh, we feel that a transmission was a very wise thing for us to, to retain. And oh yes, it has the four-wheel drives. It has the, I'm sorry if I put my hand up in front of you, I'm not used <laughs> That's to it. That's okay. It has the, the four-wheel drive system, has been retained in it. Nothing, nothing has changed in that. The hardest obstacle for us to overcome was getting the transmission to shift with an electric motor. And the reason for that is uh, we were told when we started this project from uh, engineers and stuff that we could not use a modern SUV for an electric vehicle because the transmission is electronically shifted. And I used to race cars, and I got a lot of racing buddies, and I called up my racing buddies. I know they use automatic transmissions in racing now. And I said, is, is this going to be a problem for me? And they said, yes. Is it doable? Yes. Anything can be overcome. The transmission is a, a mechanical device, and the only difference from the old trans style transmission to the new transmissions is electronics, and the computer is telling it when to shift. So we had to overcome those problems, and we, we have overcome them. As you can see, it's uh, no different than driving uh, anything, any other vehicle. Now what about my power steering, power brake? I want all my creature comforts, you know. You have lost nothing. You have, as you can see, uh, stereos playing here. Uh, you have your power steering, you have your power brakes, you have your air conditioning, you have your power windows, you have your power seat. Everything works. It has to. And another good thing about an AC system over a DC system, by the way, is right now, we're going down this very steep grade, as you can see here. And this vehicle is putting energy back into the battery. And how it's doing that is the computer sensed that I took my foot off of the throttle. As soon as I took my foot off of the throttle, it turned the engine into a generator, and the generator put energy back into the batteries, helping to extend the miles. At the same time, uh, you'll probably never buy brake pads because the engine actually helped to stop the vehicle. Had this been a, a DC kit, and I took my foot off the throttle, it would have freewheeled, and I would have had to ride the brake all the way down. Okay, what about um, emissions and uh, sticker? No I emissions. No this emissions. Has a sticker. Yeah, we no. This state is one of the most difficult to get a sticker in. All you have to do is tell them it's an electric car. It's 100% electrical. It's not a hybrid. They put that. It's, it's a spot in the computer for it, and you just put that in the computer, and you get a sticker, and you never ever have a have a, um, a emission test again. There's no emissions. No. So everything's. I uh, no oil changes. No gas. No nothing. Nope. Just uh, enjoy the ride. And, uh, let's see over here, little Bogart. Hey, you enjoying the ride? You having fun, boy? 